He said, I'm going to London. Why? Because he said, there's a fire. There's a man called William Booth, who was a Methodist. They got rid of him, and he's having revival. And he went and had revival. And he gathered all kinds of people to him. But the secret again, but they had a burning. You went in a prayer meeting, you, you know, you felt the glory, the majesty of God. And now you don't do that. Like I was with the team not long ago. Well, before the meeting at night, we went in a side room and they'd hot tea and cold tea and drinks and fruit and everything and trivia talking and straight off there to the platform. How do you suddenly turn off and suddenly become spiritual? We travel the country, but I walked the length of England, I walked the breadth of England with five college fellows. We slept in fields at night, we slept in churches. We didn't get a penny wage in six months, and nobody ever said a word. Because at night, we'd kneel in the street at 10 and 11 o'clock at night, and people get saved in the street. You don't care a who where you sleep. We slept in sleeping bags for three years. Slept on the floor of churches, anywhere they'd take us in. But we had revival, the churches are still standing today. But now, I go to a meeting and everybody's silly, oh, it's nice to see you. And they want to talk. I say, well, leave, leave me alone. Well, we, into, we went, by the way, we had a solid hour of prayer together, 11 o'clock to 12 in the morning. Then we had a bit of a rest in the afternoon and mostly went to prayer. Then we had a prayer meeting one hour before the night service, went on the platform, charged with the power of God and full of expectation and faith. And night by night, the altars were lined with people. We don't do that today. We've got mis 